Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening. We begin tonight with a warning that one of the most important regulatory agencies in the country, the Food and Drug Administration, is unable to do its job properly. The FDA is supposed to make sure that the food and drugs which Americans use are safe, and today a special advisory panel warns that the FDA is lacking in leadership and authority and without enough money. In the panel's words, overextended and underfunded. We begin in Washington. Here's ABC's Bettina Gregory. Walk into any supermarket or drugstore in America, and much of what is sold is regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. About 25 cents of every dollar spent by consumers goes for products regulated by the FDA. But at today's hearing, an advisory committee, which has been studying the agency for the past year, concluded the FDA is at the breaking point. We feel the FDA is living on borrowed time. The committee did conclude that the FDA today cannot, cannot carry out all that is mandated of it by law. The report says there are 40% fewer safety inspections than there were in the 1970s, that food processing factories are inspected only about once every eight years, that there are fewer seizures and prosecutions, and too few workers. And there's another problem. The FDA's offices are scattered among 32 buildings in the Washington area. The report says working conditions are appalling. Senators at the hearing showed photographs of cramped working spaces with outdated equipment, walls in disrepair, electrical hazards, and buildings like this converted chicken coop from the 1930s, which now houses an FDA lab. These are top scientists working in these type of places, and they're just awful. The report says more money for the FDA is one solution to all these problems, but it also says it's important to give the agency more clout by having it report directly to the Secretary of Health and Human Services, not the Public Health Service. But the administration says that would limit coordination with other health agencies. I uh, believe that it would be a serious mistake to remove the FDA from the Public Health Service. Lately, the FDA has been trying to reassert itself with investigations of misleading food labels. But until the agency gets a higher profile, more regulatory authority, and a bigger budget, this report warns it will not be able to fulfill its responsibility. Bettina Gregory, ABC News, Washington. The FDA is not alone as a regulatory agency having problems. Since Ronald Reagan became president, the agencies that are supposed to protect the public from a whole range of hazards have had their budgets take a beating. When inflation is factored in, some have lost as much as 40%. Here's ABC's Bill Greenwood. This explosion at a Phillips petroleum plant near Houston claimed 23 lives. But two years later, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, called OSHA, still has not established safety standards for chemicals like those that caused the accident. The agency is supposed to protect 90 million workers, from meat packers to construction crews. But OSHA has only 2,500 employees to do the job and the staff has been cut 7% over the past 10 years. No, AFL-CIO safety director Peg Seminario blames Reagan and Bush budget planners. They haven't put much emphasis there with respect to policy. Uh, they haven't put much money there uh, with respect to programs. The Federal Trade Commission is another example. Since 1981, its staff has been reduced by 45%. The FTC is supposed to protect shoppers from a variety of unfair business practices. But a recent price-fixing victory against the popular Nintendo company is the FTC's only significant case in recent years. The American people should be very concerned that uh, when they place their trust in various government agencies to protect their health, that those agencies don't have the resources to do the job. The problem is critical even at the Environmental Protection Agency, which Americans depend on for safe air and clean water. During the past decade, the EPA staff has grown by 11 percent, but its workload has more than doubled. Because of efforts to control the federal deficit, budget planners are not optimistic about the future of consumer protection efforts. In fact, most say it will only get worse, not better. Bill Greenwood, ABC News, Washington. When we come back, some other news. Senator Kennedy, what he knew about the Florida rape case involving his nephew. On the American agenda tonight, one of the boldest plans to turn around a troubled school system in trouble itself. And royalty gets treated royally in Washington. This is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Brought to you by Mr. Goodrich.